Hi guys, good evening. Thank you so so much for coming to today's video. Um, let's address the many elephants we have in the room. <laughs> One, it's night time. Two, I'm in a different setup. I'm not outside. And three, I have my hair down. So I know it's a different setting, guys. Just hang with me. And I think by next video, we'll be back to being outside with the sun and all of that. But hi, hi, hi. My name is Anastasia. If this is your first time in this video in this channel, if not, hello, my dear. Thank you so much for being back. Um, I have a special one for you guys today and I would like to dedicate this video to my dear publicist. I love you so much and they're the inspiration for this video. And um, before I go to the video, let me just address why I have my hair down is because I sent my graduation pictures to some of my friends. A lot of my friends are in different countries because I make friends all over the world and I sent them my pictures because they were not obviously not, you know, in attendance but i sent them the pictures and they were so happy like oh my god i haven't seen your hair down it looks so pretty all of that and i'm just like guys that is a wig it's not my hair so i hope they see this video and although there's keratin in it right now this is what i look like when my hair is down i know <laughs> i was just like an unhealthy amount of them thought like you know i'm just like really i know i do you know pack my hair a lot but i don't think it was that drastic that no one had seen me with my hair down anyways um for today's video we're talking about friendship and that was a good segue to go into today's topic um we're talking about friendship relationships there are so many relationships out there work relationship acquaintance relationship romantic relationship but today we're going to talk about friendship relationship and specifically um this is i would just share with you guys my experience with friendship and maybe you guys can resonate or learn something from it so um and also i'm going to add in the future there's going to be several more episodes on this topic because i feel like we can there's so many directions we can take this topic and so many things that we can add and you know say about this topic okay so um from my experience i have a big family and i've always had you know people around me so i've always had a lot of friends okay i just need to put out that disclaimer just because i know it might not be the same for everyone so for me i've always you know grown around grown up with a lot of friends i know there are a lot of people out there in the world i love traveling so i've seen a good amount of people so i know this world is populated with people okay why well, i am emphasizing this point is because i feel like people people get really worried and anxious about friendship that they try to change who they are to fit a certain mode or a certain role that the other person wants them to play in a relationship so for me because i have this well i say um, let's just call it an abundant mindset whereby I know that if this relationship or if this friendship is not working out for me you know that's okay because I can always find another friend or you know I can always meet another person because I know there's a lot of people there are so many people out there in this world and I've met so many amazing people and I've like I have a lot of amazing friends so I know you know that that cannot like the problem of not having enough people is like non-existent is like no <laughs> i heard one of my favorite youtubers say it this way that she has the gift of goodbye and before her i've never heard anyone explain you know friendship this way and i was just like exactly that is what i have because like for friends i welcome you into my life you know holy i love you i care for you i do everything you know i do for a friend to a friend but let's say for some reason that friendships you know fizzle out or you know we get we we break up the friendship gets broken up yes i do refer to friendships like friendships that doesn't work out i refer to them as you know broken friendships i think that is normal <laughs> But yeah, if the friendship, you know, fizzles out or it get goes sour or for some reason, I don't know, it just didn't work out, I'm like, I'm okay with it. I never force myself on someone, like, I never force a friendship or I never change who I am for a friend. 
like i mean if there's something that i'm doing that is you know that is inherently bad i would love you know my friends and anyone who love me and care for me to let me know oh you know this is not the best way to you know do things and you know the at this point i would like to add this i heard this said somewhere a family member actually said this that the truth does not always have to be bitter so you can tell someone that they're doing something that is not good without it coming off in a bad way so let's say you know i have a friend and let's say i don't know i smack my lips a lot when i chew <laughs> that's a very annoying trait <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys have this or if anyone out there have this. I'm just very particular with sounds, but if you're my friend, I'm sure I would let you know and you know we can come to a compromise on how you know it annoys me, but I love you, all of that stuff, unconditional love. But let's give that as a, as, as an example. The way I just said it now actually, I will communicate with my friend or communicate with that person that you know um I'm just sensitive to sounds so when you smack your lips like that like that actually bothers me and I'm not expecting the person to change or anything it's just for a way for the person to also know that you know if they're smacking your lips like that and you know I just excuse myself or I just try to focus on something else it's not you know it's not to hurt them it's just something I cannot stand and you know when a friend or you know someone that loves me kind of go about things that way that's how i actually know people that genuinely you know care about me or care about you know our relationship as a friend and they want us to continue however if someone comes you know saying you know oh you know you smack your lips terribly or you know that smacking sound is quite annoying or sees like sees try to say what the the annoyance is in a very bitter mean degrading way i just know that okay this person is not trying to be you know they don't even care about my feelings <laughs> that it can say it this way and i also know there is some kind of friendship dynamics where you know saying it that way would work but this is all about you know understanding each other and all of that stuff you get my gist or you get my drift but um I want people to have this mindset that, you know, you don't have to change who you are for friends. I feel like when people release this, you know, this pressure or this, you know, what's the word? Insi I forget the word. I want to say insistent, in insistent need for, you know, friendship validation or wanting to fit in. I think they're just going to organically, you know, attract people because I feel like that's the situation for me. I don't try to, you know, I don't force any friendship. Like, if it's not working for me, it's not working for me. If I really want someone to be my friend, I always express when I want someone to be my friend. I'm just like, can we be friends? I just, I literally just say it out that way. And if they say yes, let's say they say yes because, you know, they're pressured to and all of that stuff and they cannot say no over time you can tell like you'll be self-aware to know okay this person is not even making an effort i don't think they want to are they busy you know all of those contexts and nuances you can use to read the situation to know okay did this person want to be my friend or not but you know if they say yes because they genuinely want to be my friend you know then we've hit it off and you know our friendship can develop from there if they say no that's fine too because they don't have to be my friend i don't ever i always give this you know like the energy i always give off is just unapologetically me in friendships i'm just like i'm me if you like it great if you don't like it you know also great it's your opinion and that is you know valid for you but that does not have to change who i am i don't like when people try to you know force their opinions on other people and also going back to this thing about that i said about friendships um i, I said that about you know letting the person know like let's say they say oh you know yes i want to be friends but not really feeling the friendship stuff like that that's also one of my let's say one of my pet peeves when people don't communicate and i know like that can be 
difficult for some people but when people you know say yes when they mean no like a host of things happen because one like apart from you know you just flat out lie to me it's also like that energy i would have spent it on something else you know <laughs> and i don't know i just when people lack proper communication skills and the thing is that i also i'm not like i'm not well i see i'm it's not like a cookie cutter in a situation whereby you know anybody that lacks communication i'm just like mm, okay bye i never want to see you again it's more of like i try to read the situation right i'm like okay maybe they're busy okay maybe there's that and one thing about me is that i can give excuses for my mom will say for africa i can give excuses for africa because i can give excuses for people and i'm just like you know what maybe they're busy oh maybe they fell asleep oh maybe this oh maybe that and i just do that because for me it's no big deal i'm fine but if i've gone through all of those excuses and I've arrived at the point that, you know, they're not, they're just not interested or they're just not, you know, a good communicator. It's just like, uh, like, you could have saved me this trouble, but, um, I don't know, you know, let's, let's continue from here at a later time. Okay. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much. If you stay till the end of this video, I hope to see you guys in my next one and have a great night see you and remember to like subscribe share and do all the wonderful things for youtube algorithm to know that i'm awesome take care bye